I need to put these in a list. I will make a consolidated video around these, but my priority, uh, especially if you're running other stuff. I mean, I'm out here live streaming and I've got a whole bunch of other stuff running on my machine. This is very important. So priority and affinity, particularly, and affinity is limiting the numbers of threadings available to NinjaTrader. At least we have just found that that works better until NinjaTrader maybe writes to us and says, hey, we're ready to go test out our new multi-threading, whatnot. Uh, now, mind you, I am on the stable version 2.6 still. So I have not gone out there and we're not on the 8.1.1.7. Uh, I do recommend that if you have upgraded already, that's fine. I literally have to do it in the next few days anyways. Um, so you're at that spot, you need to do that as well. But limiting the affinity, let me just go ahead and do it while we're here. And I'm gonna restart Ninja Trader here on that crash there. Um, set priority, I uh, already talked about that. So I'd want that to do real time. And then I'm going to do set affinity, uh, uncheck all processors. And there is a little trick in Windows. If you just essentially know that even numbers are going to be physical cores, and in mine, I have 10 of them. This I'm on, uh, well, I'm an i9-10900. You'll see 20 procs, but your uh, cores and your virtual cores, if you will, for hyper-threading, each one being able to do two, uh, two hyper-threads. But if I wanted to just do my physical and not my logical processors, um, that's a way to do that. All right. So we've talked about that in other videos. I won't belabor that point too much. And let me go ahead and restart Ninja Trader here and do the affinity thing. And we'll try to run through that again. And we'll do it a little bit of a higher speed this time. And I'll show you what I mean by being able to find out times of day as one of the primary things that you'll want to look at when you are doing optimization for what time of day, what time of day should you run these? And again, really uh, no, no surprise here. We did over $2,400 right now um between 8 and uh 11 which we're we were eight minutes away from the 11 o'clock hour so yeah it's pretty good um that's literally two contracts max on each one of those trades not bad so it's a thousand dollars a contract and a little more little that and some change all right we'll go task manager and let's kill the ninja trader here another one of those things <laughs> about i hate to complain about ninja trader i mean love the platform but you know they've they've got a ways to go on some stuff like why is it that when i save this workspace but then we relaunch into it if we didn't close gracefully why why do those settings not get saved on those things i hit save and i literally i'm gonna go ahead and do it now just in case we happen again i'm gonna close it and relaunch it so that it will be there on the next go round because nobody wants to have to change those settings multiple times you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got no time for that and then they made it even worse now that they force you to um, log in every single time. So you'll notice I'm not having to log in yet anymore because on 2.6 still, I am I am holding off as long as possible to have to do that update. I'm just being honest. I'm not looking forward to having to log in every single time. And I just I just know what it's like in the software area, even myself, as, as good as we are. Um, it doesn't come out perfect the first time you go in. Um, I trust nobody's software product on version one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, imagine you're cross. Yeah, you're having crashing and then you're having to log in every time too. Yeah, I would not a fan. Um, especially when you're having to do dev work where you've got to constantly relaunch if you're having issues, especially when you're trying to troubleshoot crashing issues. What I mean by like extremely terribly painful. Yeah, nightmare. Okay, um, connect to playback connection. I almost forgot it again. Let's uh, set up the affinity. So I right click, go to task manager, and yes, people have been asking, well, can I put that in a bat file, bro? Y'all do whatever you want to do, okay? I'm not responsible for your computer, but don't come and ask us to support it. And if we have not set it or done it yet, then, you know, and again, I'm not I'm not jumping to stuff. We always make sure that everything is calculated and we know exactly why we're doing things and what we're doing things for. As of right now, you know, we're still in the speculation phase as to what's going on with the Ninja Trader stuff. They're doing updates, they're doing changes, all that kind of whatnot. So we don't want to speak for Ninja Trader if they come out with, you know, something different or you know, fix this problem, you know, maybe this, um, maybe this isn't a thing. Um, okay. At the same time, I mean, we're bleeding edge. We're, we're doing stuff with their product that they probably never intended it to ever do. I'm not trying to brag about it and just saying it's a fact. There's like, go out there and find another product that's close to ours. And you'll be like, oh, nobody, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing what y'all are doing. Wonder, uh, or why that might be. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned. Watch this next video.